Welcome to episode 889, called Nizhnyov, Russia's shopping mall king from Azerbaijan. Nine lessons. This is an outline of episode 889, lesson one to lesson five. This is lesson six to lesson nine. Lesson one: Location, location. He chooses to build on top of Moscow's subway. Of step one, create a market. Step two, the market must be near a metro. Step three, buy the land and then later develop the markets into huge shopping malls. Lesson two: He is not an oligarch, but he definitely belongs to Putin's inner circle. In 2014, Putin awarded Isinov the Order of Friendship. The reason Isinov is not a Russian oligarch is because, although he earned his fortune during the Yeltsin years. He was not involved in trading public companies in Moscow. This is a picture of the famous Russian oligarchs. Lesson three: Cash flow. I know you need cash flow to buy land and build real estate empire. His initial cash flow was from selling fruits and vegetables. Selling food has very fast turnover. Lesson four: Not stand in the way of others' profit. This is the original quote by God Nissenov. We never stood in the way of somebody's business, and we do not like it if someone else stands in the way of our business. We can help, and this we do often. Lesson five: Helping the big guys. Eco owns the largest real estate company in Russia. He just makes sure that Putin's classmates and friends became minority shareholders in many of his projects. Source: Forbes magazine, 2020. Lesson six: Helping the little guys. In this case, the little guys are the consumers and the small businessmen selling the goods. For example, in food cities. They have significant place to do business without the need of middlemen. Lesson seven: Food City is the largest food cooperatives in Russia, and also in Europe. This is an external view of the 250 acres complex. Lesson eight: Diversification. This means away from shopping malls into iconic buildings. Like the Hotel Ukraine here, and also like the Radisson Royal Cruise, like the one shown here in Moscow. Lesson nine: He is helped by Buddy Zarak Iliev, who is six years older than him. In 1992, Nisanov and Zarak Iliev, also from the same Jewish town, Slobada. Joined together to sell fruits in Moscow in 2020, both God Nisanov and Sarah Iliev are worth 2.7 billion dollars each. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.